Sergeant Hanna start their recordings? Is the recording commenced? commenced? Uh, recording is good. Backup is good. And Sergeant Hope, you may begin with your opening. Thank you. Good, good morning. Good afternoon and welcome to today's. Oh, a minute, sir. Let me just do my opening. Good afternoon. Okay. Welcome to the Committee on Transportation. Would all council members and council staff please turn their video on at this time? To minimize disruption, please place all electronic devices to vibrate or silent. Uh, Chair Rodriguez, you may begin. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to today's remote hearing of the, of the City Council Committee on Transportation. Annie Danny Rodriguez, the chair of this committee. We have been joined by a number of colleagues. I will let the sergeants who then call their name. Today we will be voting on proposed intro number 1865-A, a bill that I have a sponsor in relation to the creation of a library and black car task force. The task force created under this bill will be charged with studying the numerous challenges this particular sector is currently experiencing. The livery and traditional black car industries are in a crisis and the task force will play a major role in identifying suggestions and ideas to rescue them. In 2014, we have an average of 50,000 Libre uh, vehicle operating in the city. For the surprise of all of us here in the whole city of New York, that number went down to 10,000. That's what we have today. A drop of 40,000 Libre vehicle loss. Some people will say, but didn't they go to Uber and Lyft? Well, some of them did, but many of them they lost the job because many of those bases, such as the one that we have in uptown, the Bronx, Brooklyn, Staten Island, they were competing against the Uber and Lyft, big advertising, and they lost those drivers and those drivers never went back to them. These four high vehicles have serviced our community for decades. I used to be one of them. I used to be one to of a Bailey car service and Caddy car service in Manhattan and the Bronx. And we were a vital, so that we were providing vital services for many essential workers also during the eight months, during the height of the pandemic. It is no secret that for the last 10 years, Libre and Blacker bases has been losing hundreds and th sorry, thousands of drivers and many Libre bases have been forced to shut it down. We need solutions that will help this industry to survive. Unfortunately, even at the time when the MTA closed the, the midnight service, it was not the liver who were invited to be part of providing alternative uh, transportation. It was Uber and it was Lyft. So they are competing in this advantage. The task force will also study the potential impact of advertising and the viability of advertising as an additional revenue source for drivers in the livery and black car and other for hire in a vehicle industry. No later, no later than 250 days after this bill becomes law, the task force shall show, show issue a report with their findings and recommendations and the TLC chair should publish short, a such report online. This task force will be similar in scope to the task force the council created and that recently studied this, the, the medallion uh, in, in the yellow uh, uh, industry. Unfortunately, we also need to learn from that experience. That task force puts a lot of recommendations. None of them has been implemented. I urge my colleagues to vote yes on this piece of legislation. Quiero pedirle que todos mis colegas voten una legislación que estamos votando hoy, que es para crear un task force de la industria de taxi libre y de los black car. Lo estamos haciendo porque ese sector ha estado en crisis. Años atrás habían 50 mil taxistas libres. Hoy nada más hay 10 mil. Muchos han perdido los trabajos y docenas de bases han tenido que cerrar. Tenemos toda la responsabilidad 
que ayudar a la base libre, a los choferes libres y a los choferes de los black car. Aún en este momento de la epidemia, cuando la MTA está usando transportación para sustituir al servicio de los trenes en la madrugada, es a Uber y a Lyft que le han dado la mayoría de esos contratos. Yo le pido a que mi colega me acompañe votando eh, en este proyecto de hoy, que es muy importante para salvar la industria libre y de los taxis black car. I urge my colleague again to vote yes on this piece of legislation and as the committee clerk to call a vote. Good afternoon. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on transportation. Introduction 1865A, Chair Rodriguez. Aye. Cabrera. Aye. Cohen. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. Uh, thank you, Chair. It is good to see everybody. Uh, I am definitely going to uh, vote aye on uh, on this uh, uh, important uh, piece of legislation and, uh, and taking a look at, at, at this at this industry. I have voiced concern in the past about sort of this piecemeal approach, uh, and I really do feel that uh, this is a, an industry in need of a you know a really more comprehensive sort of global examination as to what we could do. Uh, there, you know, every, every component of this industry seems to have real uh, struggles and uh, faces, you know, incredible challenges. But uh, I, I do appreciate the chair's, uh, you know, nonstop advocacy, uh, particularly for the drivers. And so uh, with that, I'm going to vote aye. Thank you. Deutsch. Aye. Who? Aye. Levin. But, uh, Levine. I vote aye as well. Menchaca. I vote aye. Miller. Affirmative. Reynoso. Permission to explain my vote. Permission grant. I want to thank uh, the chair for the work that he's been doing to really try to get a grasp on what's happening in our taxi industry. Um, but I also like uh, yeah. Council Member Cohen, yeah. one second, no, puppy. by Council Member Cohen, um, <laughs> believe that we should be doing something more comprehensive. Um, and the fact that we haven't at this point is really concerning to me. I do think that this is going to be um, a, a small step into getting to the bigger picture. And in order to encourage that conversation to happen, I'm gonna vote no on this legislation until we have a conversation about a comprehensive and complete uh, revamping and reimagining of TLC. So I vote no. Council member Richards. Council member Richards, I believe you are muted. I'll come back. Uh, Council member Rose. Aye. Holden. Vote aye. Council member Richards.
Okay, Council Member Richards is present. The vote for Committee on Transportation, Introduction 1865A is 11 in the affirmative, one in the negative, and no abstentions. Mr. Chair. Thank everyone, and especially the staff who work on, on this bill, and, and all the colleagues, and with that, this hearing is adjourned.